Good day guys. My name is Alas in the Fit and I am making a video on the shortcuts to solving equations and simultaneous equations. The equations are quadratic equations, polynomial equations and the likes and as well as we're going to get that of simultaneous equation. Um, I believe we already have an understanding about our solving this uh, solving quadratic equations normally. I'm going to start with quadratic. Uh, I believe we all have the knowledge. So we are going we're not going to focus more on the knowledge. We're going to focus more on the shortcuts so as to save time and um, this video will be a short one very short one okay now for correct equation a very good um, example is x square minus 4x plus 4 equals 0 and um, you have your options to be 1 comma 2 b 2 comma 2 c 3 comma 2 d minus 2 comma 1 just like i said we're going to be answering questions based on the fact that we have options the thing is that the answer is in this option the answer is somewhere in this option so we have to find it and just uh, with the previous knowledge with what you already know from the previous video just pick the options one after the other put them as x here anyone that gives you zero on both sides is the answer so let's take for example this first one option a put in one here like i told you there are some things you have to be doing mentally it's not everything you have to be writing down so if i put one it becomes one if i put if i represent x here as this one i want to represent x in this equation as one it becomes 1 minus 4 plus 4 1 minus 4 plus 4 is not 0 so definitely that's not the answer now that's not the answer okay now let's try b b that's the first one is 2 so that's 4 minus 8 x uh, sorry minus 8 plus 4 and it is definitely 0 so I already know this is the answer because it occurs twice 2 definitely occurs twice so this is the answer and it's as simple as that you've gotten the answer so let me go straight to polynomial the same thing applies for polynomial equations now I'm going to give a question on polynomial equation we have x cube minus 5x square minus 8x plus 2 equals 0 the options are 2 comma 5 comma 1 b 1 comma 6 comma minus 2 d sorry c 2 comma minus 6 comma minus 1 d we have 2 comma 6 comma minus 2 <laughs> okay now you know trying to solve trying to solve this one alone can take can eat up your whole time like trying to solve this polynomial equation alone can eat up your time because firstly you're going to start with the way you must have been taught is you start with one keep representing one in as x in this equation now if it gives you zero that means 
x equals to 1 is a factor remember and it becomes x minus 1 equals 0 you now divide long division divide this one by this x minus 1 to get the quadratic equation and now divide down again further well we can't do that kind of thing in your, in your exam or test if not you waste the whole time so since we know that the options are the one the answer is here in the option and we already have the knowledge that if you put a factor if a factor if if x minus one is a factor of this polynomial then if you equate this one to zero which is x being one and you represent x as this one uh, in as uh, you have saying one as x in this equation then it should be able to give you zero as the answer to this uh, cubic equation so we're going to use that knowledge here that means if i pick the options one after the other and i represent them as x here anyone that anyone that gives me zero all true like the three of them gives me zero all true is definitely the answer so let's start with two now i'm going to i'm going to be working mentally so this one becomes eight if i put two here it becomes eight this one becomes 20 minus this one becomes 16 plus 2 um, no no it is definitely not so first and form we can't even let's not even bother to do, try 5 because since this one is wrong it has affected the rest and let's go to the next one let's go to the next one the next one is no option b now put 1 as 1 minus 5 minus 8 1 minus 5 minus 8 plus 2 is it plus 2 ok sorry 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 the question is 12 yeah, I just confirmed it. It is plus 12, not 2. It is plus 12, not 2. Okay, yeah. Plus 12. Sorry for that. Plus 12. So, since it is 12, that's bringing the... This is minus 13 and this is plus 13. If you bring these two together and these two together. So, the answer is definitely 0. Okay. So, we can be rest assured that this one is correct. Now, let's try the next one because you have to try everything else to correlate. So, you have to try. Let's try the next one. As 6 in three places, that's 2 and 6 minus 5 times 6 in two places, that's 180 minus 8 times 6, that's 48 plus 12. If you sum everything, you should also give zero so we are sure that six is still there now let's try for minus two this is a minus eight and the next one is minus five the next one will be minus 16 i mean plus 16 plus 12. plus 16 plus 12. so does it give an answer Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one becomes uh, 20. This one becomes 20. And does it give you? Yeah, this is minus 28. This is plus 28. So it is definitely zero. So this is the answer. And um, that's just how you do. That's just how you do exams. You pick the options, and it would save much more time compared to when working with the unworking the answers directly so you've, you've done that now let's go to simultaneous equation for simultaneous equation for simultaneous equation it is still basically the same idea still basically the same idea let's let's write out a question 3x plus 2y cos 16 and you have 4x minus 3y equals 10 now you have options 
x is the first one is x second one is y x is 3 and the 2 y is 2 b x is 1 y is 3 c x is 4 y is 2 d x is 1 y is 2 now having this in exam you know you can use uh, the various methods elimination substitution and the rest of them fine you can use them but then if you want to another another very uh, easy way of getting the answer is to use the options just like we already know so let's start with this first one you put the option here that will be nine that's this one will represent x this one will represent y nine plus four is this 16 no this is not there let's go to the next one now b put it 3 plus 6 is this 16 no this is not there and let's do the last uh, number c that's 12 plus 4 it is 16 so we are still sure of that let's try it and you must try it in the 2 is a simultaneous equation 4 times 4 16 minus 6 is it 10 yes it is 10 it gives 10 so both of them verify this both of them is verified by c so c is definitely the answer you have just done it within the space of few seconds within the space of few seconds and um this one is actually simple it's simple it's simple you might now get something as simple as this now you see questions like log x base 2 minus 2 log 3 base y equals to minus 1 and you have 2 log 2 log x base 2 plus 3 log y base 3 equals 5 find x and y option a might be 1 comma 2 option b that's x and y option b might be 2 comma 3 option d 3 comma 1 option the last one 4 comma 2 okay now this one also you know, if you start solving this one this one this one would definitely take much time it is a simultaneous equation but with uh, done with a uh, uh, log reading you know, the question was formulated with log reading so we have to impute we have to impute them ourselves okay pick the first option pick put in the first option log 1 base 2 is 0 okay let's still add on that then log 3 base 1 uh, log 3 base 2 that one is is, is just a log. let's not just waste time it is not the answer it is not the it cannot give us minus 1 so let's just cancel out this because let's just cancel out this it's not, it's not part now let's try the next one now log 2 the, this 2 is representing x this 3 is representing y so log 2 base 2 put in 2 as x here log 2 base 2 is 1 minus 2 put in 3 as uh, y here log 3 base 3 is also 1 is it minus 1 yes okay now let's try and verify if it works for this other equation too 2 put 2 here that's 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 plus put 3 here log 3 3 open bracket log 3 base 3 is still 1 it is what 5 and it is 5 so this is the answer you've solved it you've solved the question that will take you like minutes you've solved it in less than less than one minute seconds you solved it in seconds so it's as simple as that if you love what i do you can drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel and you can share to others the knowledge is free tell others about it help somebody do well in their tests and exam thank you very much i am last in the fit bye